Off-Season Training for Snowboarding 5 Training to Snowboard Harder and Longer Muscular Endurance This endurance skill is not about power, but rather, it's about how long you can repeat flexing your muscles. For example, a marathon runner can repeat flexing their leg muscles for about 2 to 3 hours. Racers keep resisting to centrifugal force for about 90 seconds. Because of a strong g-force while turning, it will feel similar to holding the invisible chair position for 90 seconds, just more intense. When it's powder day, your legs will be burned quickly because all your weight is kept on the back leg while riding in powder. In all of these situations, you are not required to exert the maximum strength of your muscles, but you do need to be able to continuously flex your muscles while riding. When your muscles flex, your white and red muscles are working together. White muscles can shrink fast, lasting up only to 8 seconds with 100% of your power. However, they are stronger than red muscles. Red muscles don't have the same power as white muscles, but they last longer because they shrink at a slow rate. This means, if your snowboarding requires white muscles to work hard, it's not easy for you to keep riding. In other words, if you want to keep riding as long as possible, you should use your white muscles less and ride more with your red muscles. You need to train your red muscles so you don't have a low number of blood capillaries to hinder you from riding as long as you want. If you have more blood capillaries in your red muscles, your muscles will take in more oxygen and create more energy. Okay, let's start training your red muscles to gain better muscular endurance skills. Abdominals and Lower Back Your abdominal and lower back muscles are always working to stabilize your body balance while riding on the hill. Similarly, runners and swimmers keep flexing their muscles around the torso, thus, they are well trained for muscular endurance skill. With this reason, Running and swimming might be one of the best muscular endurance exercises for your abdominal region. Exercise 1 1. Sit on the ground 2. Turn your head right or left just as if you are riding 3. Lift your feet up 4. Try to lean your upper body behind you as far as possible. 5. Keep your balance on your hips by using your arms and legs. 6. Check if your head is standing straight, just as it should be while riding. 7. Try moving your legs and upper body as if you're really snowboarding. 8. Keep with it for about 1 to 2 minutes. And 9. Repeat this process 2 or 3 times. Exercise 2 1. Lay on your tummy. 2. Turn your head right or left just as if you are riding. 3. Lift your arms and feet up. 4. Keep your balance on your tummy by using your arms and legs. 5. Try moving your legs and upper body as if you're really snowboarding. 6. Keep with it for about 30 seconds. And 7. Repeat this process 2 or 3 times. Lower body. Hips, thighs, calves, and shins. Exercise 1 1. Stand as if you are riding. 2. Stay low and keep your weight centered. 3. 
Check to be sure if your feet are flat and your knees are over your toes. 4. Move your feet as if you are walking. 5. Check and be sure that your weight is not on your toes while stepping. 6. Try to keep both your upper body and head straight just like it should be while riding. 7. Keep this position for about 30 to 60 seconds. And eight, repeat this process two or three times. Exercise two. One, lay on the wall as if you are turning on your heels. Two, stay low and keep your toes up. Three, step your feet back and forth like this. Four, check if you keep your toes up and your back straight. Five, keep this position for about 15 to 30 seconds. And six, repeat this process two or three times. Exercise three. One, Stand a few feet away from the wall. 2. Put your hands on the wall and turn your head as if you are riding. 3. Check and be sure your hips are not pushed behind you. 4. Push your heel up and down frequently. 5. Keep this position for about 30 to 60 seconds. And six, repeat this process two or three times. We recommend you work on all exercises, including running and swimming, two to three times a week. Try to visualize yourself snowboarding while training. Otherwise, your muscles won't work as you expect when you go on the hill. For example, your weight might be more on your back leg while riding. You will keep receiving different types of pressure from the ground frequently, and they are not steady at all. You can check your riding posture while training, so you can train your muscles and learn proper posture at the same time. Having the same mentality for training as you would for actual riding helps your posture. If you visualize yourself snowboarding while training, it will be pure muscle memory when you're actually riding, and will save time. Strengthening your muscles, plus having that muscle memory, is key to make your snowboarding performance more consistent. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and feel free to leave your comments below. Watch all our tutorials by subscribing to the online training program from our website. Thanks for watching. Snowboard Dojo Wiz, your snowboard coach from Canada.